arc signed in. And you'll hear me say that again in a minute because I recorded this after I just recorded this video. So um, how do I put this? I kind of went on a bit of a rant. I'll leave a description, not a description. I'll leave a timestamp down below to where my rant begins because I expected this video to be about, well, not to be about anything. I just thought I'd probably get a bit of gameplay footage, just like I usually do, like my Let's Plays. But uh, yeah, I ended up talking about my thoughts on uh, live service games, um, specifically Destiny and Warframe. And I chat a little bit about Call of Duty as well, but you'll, you'll hear me rant on, but yeah, I'm just going to let the video carry on. So yeah, enjoy. All right, Ark signed in and I was going to play uh, Man Eater, but there was a live stream from Bungie yesterday and they said something about an update. I can't remember the name of it. I kind of just watched it with my eyes glazed over, to be honest, because I was really tired. But um, yeah, I will. Yeah, I think I'll play a bit of Man Eater later, but I'm gonna check out this update. So uh, yeah, if you enjoy the uh, if you enjoy the video, give me a like, drop a comment, give me a sub if you haven't already. Let's game on. You know what? I completely forgot how long it takes to actually get into this game. Um, <laughs> now I'm recording videos. Uh, yeah, I have a timer, so I can actually see how long the videos are. And yeah, three minutes and ten seconds in. So three minutes it took me to get into this game, which is crazy. Why is this not working properly now? Ah, there we go. So I'm using my controller, so I was expecting to see that little circle. The hive wanted a return to war on the moon. They built a lunar fortress to back their assault. A grand stage to announce their revival. You climbed that scarlet citadel, and the hive met you head on. Buried them. But we found more than Hive on the moon. The dark has reached out. We have no choice but to reach back. Is there another cutscene? No, loading screen. Okay, so Destiny 2, I haven't played for months. Um, but this and Warframe are one of like they're they're two games that I'll always fall back into. It's finally arrived. Now shut up. Darkness is here. We need boots on the ground on Io. Recon. There's a pyramid. It's already disabled Rasputin. I'd lean on Eris's expertise, but we haven't been able to reach her. We both know what that means. 
Eris is our best chance at understanding what we're up against. I need her at the tower. She's too valuable an asset to. Find her guardian. Bring her home. But yeah, basically, I'm, I'm, I haven't played this for so long that I've missed out on so much. Guardian without a ghost. I wonder how that must feel. Hollow. Unnatural. When I look at that ship. Eris, can you hear us? Eris. Nothing. Zavala, come in. Any sign? My signals are being suppressed. I can't even summon a sparrow. What do you see? The pyramid. It's... Oppressive. Like a storm building. Then be quick. Get out ahead of it. Understood. I wonder if it's my mouse. No idea. No! No! Don't! You bring weapons. You will not need them. We offer only truth. So the darkness is finally here. Something pulled us out of the beam. What's happening? What is this place? I can't shoot it. No. Oh, I need to sort this speed out. That is going to drive me insane. Turn this back up to seven. Yeah, that's better. There we go. We're back on Io. Close to the cradle. I'm... I'm getting faint readings from Eris now. Let's keep moving. The air down here is choked with strange communications. I don't know if I can... Is that you, Guardian? You're needed back at the tower. Zavala sent us. Of course he did. I'm moving toward the cradle. It calls to me. It? What is it? I are frenzied. Zavala, did you catch that? This interference. I can't triangulate a point of origin. Keep going. Maybe the signal is better up ahead. I've got to try and remember the controls. Well, I'm not in the darkness, so if I die, it's fine. It's all good. Finisher after finisher. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be really weak at the moment. So I think I'm supposed to be a higher light level than what I actually am. I'm just glad I missed out on so much content, though, to be fair. Super, I forgot to use it. I'm pretty sure it's Let's back off a bit. Ah, oh. recommended power level 750. What am I actually at? 949. This should be a walk in the park. Oh, it's done that thing again. Right, I'm back. I sorted it out. 
the problem was I was using a community made controller setup and I've gone back to using the, uh, the official bungee one. I'm not sure why I was using a community made one to be honest, but there we go. I'm back in it. about to dodge. That was it. Little crouch. Umbral angle. Do I remember? No, I didn't recognize that at all. I have no idea what this one is. Guardian, your assistance would not be unwelcome. There are forces at play here I do not fully understand. We need to move. Boss level. It's not even up yet, even though I'm really close. Strip his, uh, strip his shield. Okay. Oh, I thought I had the bow. I don't know why I thought. Whack up. Okay, maybe not. I'm gonna die. I am gonna die. Get off my back. Good fist to the face always gets rid of the low ones. And there's another boss level. Boss level boss. <laughs> Smack him with a rocket. Oh, I missed. I'm so out of touch with this game, honestly. Oh, he's not that bad. What? Oh. Looks like they've all gone for a jog. Okay. I'm curious to see what that Umbral Engram is. I don't remember getting this gun. What is it? I have no clue what that is. I've used this hand cannon for so long. It's so good. I want to know what I've missed as well. Because when I stopped playing, I kind of just stopped following all the news for the game as well. So I have no clue what to expect when I go back to the um, star chart. If that's what it's called, I forgot what it's called. <laughs> Is anyone there? Eris, talk to us. Say something. Please. What is that? Wow. That is amazing. It does feel nice to be back in this game again, to be honest. This is this is the problem though with these live service games is it's not a problem with the games themselves, it's the fact that if you do decide to take a break, 
you miss out. You miss out on content. Um, and you, you, you come back to stuff you... Like, I mean, Destiny, whenever they have big updates, they are big updates. And there's usually stuff that you don't understand. Like, you feel like you don't understand the game anymore. It's so strange. Like, I don't think I'll ever get to a point where actually I hate Destiny or I hate Warframe. But, I mean, other games come out, you end up playing them. Sometimes, like I say, I haven't played this for months. And it's a shame. Like, every now and again I'll, I'll see a bit of news about Warframe or Destiny and I'm like... I could be playing this, but there's something else that I want to be playing right now. And the same works between them as well, so... There'll be a time when Destiny's got really good update. And I'll be playing that more. And then, all of a sudden, Warframe. There we go. Another update. And then... I'll go back and I'll just feel out of touch. This is all starting to feel natural again. The combat. Oh, one shot. Right. Whoa, okay. Something pulled us back in. It's keeping us from Eris. Headshot. Ah, oh, damage drop off. Look, those are all eyes. What are all eyes? Oh. Alright, let's go. I'm not sure what the power level cap is now. I mean, last I played it, there was people pushing their um, pushing their light levels to some ridiculous numbers. It was to do with I think it was what was it? Was it relics? I think you could um, you could equip relics, and uh, so you, you'd hit your power level cap. But then you'd push past the cap with relics that you'd level up. But they don't like the levels would only last for that season, so I'm not sure if we're actually in a new season at the moment. Like I say, I, I, my eyes were glazed over when I was watching that when I was watching the stream. Not that the stream was boring, like I said, I was I was just tired. Get a finisher on this guy. I found his take on this guy. And then get a finisher. There we go. And you were just hiding there all along here. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Got some damage on it. You. Oh no. I hit the, uh, hit the shell. Oh gosh, get off my back. Wizard. played this game with headphones on, obviously because I'm recording video. I'm noticing sounds. I don't know if that, like, what I call a warble, like an electric warble. My arc ability? It must have been. I've just realised I'm not in the darkness, so if I die here, no big loss. Just come back. Let's put some more health in. Did it drop anything? No. Oh no, what? There are too no. many of them. They won't attack me. 
Oh my gosh, I can't get out. Oh my gosh. Enough! Oh. Thanks, Eris. Jeez. You're hurt. Oh, was horrific. It is nothing. But this. This is something. A tree of silver wings. It grew from the last place the traveler touched before it left this world. The darkness was drawn here. As the hive is drawn to the darkness. These eyes of mine. The things they have seen. What was that? Something that does not want us here. Darkness. No. But it is of the darkness. It has to be you this time. What? Claim the seed. Come in. We hear you, Zavala. Have you found her? The seed breaks through the interference. Eris. Zavala. Report back to me in the tower, both of you. Our transmissions may be compromised. Let's not keep him waiting, Guardian. You can teleport us back. Oh, you just limp back. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I think I might try and run this video to an hour. What did you find? It found me. The darkness reached out, but something interferes. Its messages to us are being defaced. Defaced? By the witch sister of the Taken King, Oryx. Savathun. Your obsession gives her power. No. She feeds on denial. Ignorance. The Guardian has discovered a means to circumvent her. A seed of silver wings. Iris. If the darkness reaches out, we must reach back. I will not sanction this. We are beyond sanctions. It is here. I will return to Io. If we cannot determine what the darkness seeks, we will find ourselves on the verge of a second collapse. Perhaps that is what Savathun wants. Please, don't. Let me go, Zavala. We, we, we. According to spectral analysis, the pyramid, its propulsion, the energy it's manipulating on Io, I don't see a ship. I see a being. Paracausal in nature. Like the Traveler. All records of the Golden Age agree. On the first day, the sky filled with darkness. On the second, the Traveler fell. Help Eris where you can, but be ready to deal with the enemy fleet when it arrives. We need you, Guardian. Yeah, I forgot. That's that's one thing about Destiny. As much as I love it, it's it's an expensive game to keep up with. Like, and I, it's gone free. I mean, it doesn't make a difference to me because I've, I've, I've paid for everything. It's not like I got a refund for it. But even still, you 
you download the game right, for free. And then, of course, you're going to be like, it's free, it's actually really good. And then you get invested, and then you realize, oh, there's a season. It's got quite a bit of content in it. This this new one, Season of the Arrivals, is it looks like it's got a ton of content. Um, and yeah, you basically pay full price for a game, which I guess is fair enough when you first play it. But um, then that finishes, and then the next season starts. Even if it's an entire year later. And stay away. None and you realize that you're paying surface energy around another 50, 50 quid. One success. 30 to 50 quid for, for DLC. Multiple successes over time? That bears further study. And sometimes, I'm not going to lie, these missions that you get, they're not like full size games. You get a lot of content, don't get me wrong, but 50 quid for content or 50 quid for a brand new game with a new story. I know I'm like, I'd rather put my money. Like, obviously, I bought the seasons, but that's because I'm that invested in Destiny. But then, when I've done when I've done all the content, I'm just like, well, well, that's that done. It's not. I don't have to explain it. It's kind of hard to explain. It's just, it's just a shame, especially when Warframe has like, just everything's free on that. Everything's free. You you don't. The only the only thing that you have to pay for is the content that is um, created by the player base. That's the only thing you have to pay for. You can you can literally play the game and get everything you want in it if you put the time in. I'm not sure which I've got more time in this or Warframe. I know. I think I think I've got around seven hundred hours, seven hundred, eight hundred hours in Warframe. This is probably the same with Destiny. I'm just running around in the moment because I'm talking. But, um, yeah, it's it just it's a shame they can't sort of have the same business model that they implement, oh gosh, that they implement in Warframe. Or at least something cheap enough to make it so it's not a, a massive, I, I, can, I can almost guarantee nearly every Destiny player sees the new content. They see the new season starting and then you look at the price, and it's just a massive punch in the gut. Because you don't really want to spend that much money on it. I understand they've got to get they've got to get paid, especially now that they're uh, they don't get funding from Activision. But I just I just wonder what makes what makes the difference between the two. One can be completely free, but yet this one you have to sink so much money into it if you just want to carry on. Playing. Yeah, I don't think there's much more I can do on this, to be honest, because uh, it looks like I need to buy that season pass, which... I, I, I'm confused, though, because it did say... I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure why the content's there in-game, but I can't access it, but yeah, it's not accessible till... What was it? September, I think it said. It's a bit strange. Right, let me, yeah, let me have a, have a look. Let's see what it says again. Right, so I'm guessing, yeah. Season of the Arrivals. It 
Is this now? That's the thing. Is this now? Yeah, I think, yeah, this is running now. But I'm, I, d I don't really want to pay. I have to say, I don't want to pay. What was it around 50 quid I saw for DLC? Especially when I've got. I've got a game that I'm playing at the moment, which is Man Eater, which you should check out, by the way. Uh, I'll leave a card around here um, for the playthrough of that. At the time I'm recording this, I haven't actually finished the game. I'll be recording another half hour of gameplay after after I've done with this. After I've had my little chat, anyway. Because I'm not really doing anything at the moment. I'm just, I'm just wandering around, taking out enemies. Um... I've lost my train of thought. Where was that? But yeah. Oh yeah, and then yeah, there's so in nine days from now, nine days of me recording this video, I've got The Last of Us 2 coming out, which means I'll either be playing Manita and that or just that. There won't be enough time for me to play this as well. Like buy a season pass for six and fifty quid and invest that much time in it. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to give it give it a miss. I think that's what drove me off Destiny 2 last time, months ago. So I think I bought what was it? I think I bought a season pass. And I'm not sure if another one came out after that. I might have just, I might have just lost interest to be fair, or another game come out. Like I say, it's one of them games that I just, I, I don't hate it. I just it it wants so much of your time. If there's nothing else to play, it, <laughs> it does. It soaks up your time so much, especially when you want to do a raid. You want to do a raid, especially one that's fairly new. Um. Yeah, if, if it's, let's let's say for example a raid has come out um, about three days ago, everyone's still fresh to it. There's loads of secrets that are being uncovered. There's faster ways to get through the different challenges that it gives you. Um, but you you spend a considerable amount of time looking for a fire team because you can't. There's no matchmaking for raid. Um, I know before I've, I've spent up to an hour or more looking for a raid team and then you get into the raid you probably do a challenge that's in there for about half an hour trying to get it right maybe even an hour um, sometimes that's where you end you just you play it for about an hour to two hours doing that one challenge and you can't get past it um, but to cut it short, basically you can you can spend up to you spend up to five hours. I know I've spent up to five hours trying to get a raid done. Sometimes not even finishing it, and it's it's disheartening. And it does it just wants so much of your time. But it personally, to me, I love it. It's really good. The game, but it's I, it's no one to blame but for, for that. It's just. A gaming mindset. A gamer's mindset, should I say. I mean, at least, let's say, for example, someone that's addicted to Call of Duty, at least you know what you're getting. 10 minute match, or Warzone, half an hour ish match. You know what you're getting, you know where it's going to start. Um, you just play more and more. If, if, if you keep playing, if you keep playing for two to three hours when you didn't mean to, you just meant to jump on for one match. Um, at least you know that's your fault. But then, like I say, for this, you, so for a season, you want to get the season done um, because there's actually content you want to get. Um, and uh, don't get me wrong, that's the, same, that's the same with Call of Duty as well. But 
I don't know, the, the content in this is more desirable. There's like, because so you've got quests and stuff um, for weapons that actually, like, for Call of Duty, it's very cosmetic. Um, there's nothing that really makes you play any better or discover something new in the story. But you get that with this. You, you do get quite a bit. And you just feel really addicted to it. Well, if you're addicted to it, it's it just becomes a bit of a like I say it just becomes disheartening when you when you you don't get to the end of something or you don't get what you want because you spent so so long trying to get it. And in fact actually speaking of Call of Duty, that's what it was like trying to get that uh, what is it? Mud Darba. That felt like the whole time I was trying to do that, if you know what that is, just search it and uh, check out what it is. It's, it's a gun that you can get in Warzone. Um, whoa. I'm just going to punch me in the side of the head. No. Uh, and that felt quite raid-like on this. Like So, so we'd spend, I don't know, two hours, match after match after match, trying to get that gun. And we were getting wiped out by campers, or we were struggling with the numbers. And it, as I was doing that, as I was doing that quest just to get a gun, um, I just I had this nostalgic feeling of playing Destiny and doing a Destiny raid again. I don't know what I've waffled on, to be honest. <laughs> I've just kind of jumped into this, waffled on. Um, if you've made it this far into my video, thanks for listening, honestly. <laughs> I appreciate it. I might actually uh, put it in my description to probably forward to this bit if you, if you want to hear my thoughts on live service games. Uh, yeah. I don't think there's much else for me to talk about, to be honest. I, I think I'm just going to jump onto Manny to now. I've, I've been on here for an hour and five minutes. I don't know what that translate to translates to video time, YouTube video time, once I've edited and chopped it all up and everything. But Yeah. Like I say, I think the next time I jump back on Destiny, it'll be when I've set up my Twitch or... YouTube stream. I, I want to have like a nice because yeah. I, I did try and record a video of War 3. Did not work out because recording a video of War 3 uh, doesn't translate well unless it's like news and you want to show someone something. It's no, doesn't work. I, the way the way you do a playthrough doesn't work with with live service games. The only reason I did this with Destiny 2 was because I knew there was some new story bits and bobs. I didn't I didn't actually expect to drag it out for an hour or over an hour initially when I thought of doing this. I just thought I'd do a quick little story read bit. That's it, done. But yeah. I think I'll leave it there. Uh, do you know what? The Vex are marching to integrate. Let's do this. I'll do you know this, must be done. and then I'll play my Eater. There go the Vex, extending their nice. substructure again. They must be stopped. There it is. Right. Oh, what's happening to my controller? My controller's disconnected. No, load me back in. Load me back in. Oh my gosh! Come on, load. Load. Oh, no. Well, at least I'm capturing this point anyway. Oh, there we go. There we go. I'm back in the game. Back in the game. Yeah, every, everything I've just talked about. Um, 
I didn't, like I said, I didn't intend to do that. I didn't intend to waffle on about my thoughts on Destiny and live service games, but it's here. I might actually put it in the description just to, just to draw your attention to that part of, my, of this video. Um, yeah, let me know your thoughts. Just uh, drop a comment down below. Let me think. The way I talk sometimes, it's uh, I don't. I'm not really coherent. I, it's hard for me to put my thoughts across sometimes. I'm not sure why, but if you understood everything I said, <laughs> give me a reply to that. Just uh, let me know. I'm not. I'm not the only person that thinks that. Oh my gosh, these things capture so slow. Are they getting the other one? I think they're getting the other one. But... Okay. Uh, yeah, I think I think they got that one. Have they got it? Not yet. Let's go speed it up. At least I think it speeds it up with more of a speed in. Come on, 93%, 95, 97, 98, 99, done. Right, exotic quest. Is that what it's called? No. Heroic event, that's it. Really? Alright, let's stave these guys off. Whoa! We've been letting the... Oh my gosh, we've only got five integrations left. As if that's happened. Get out of my face. Wait, 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 who's doing that? Who's doing that? Who's doing that? Did... I thought one of them integrated. Let's see if I can take out one shot. Oh, you already did it. I love this gun. It's so good. I think there's a ton more weapons in the game than from when I last played it. Hear that, Asher? Another spire fall. There we go. Gun. Much as it pains me to say it, I predicted you would succeed. Take my thanks and never speak of it again. Okay. So yeah, this is probably the only Destiny video I've got on here. Unless, I don't know, something else pops up, like a, a quest that I've, I don't know, probably bought or something. But yeah, I think I'll just leave it there. Uh, remember to, yeah, yeah, just just uh, start a conversation. I'm I'm an extremely, extremely small YouTuber. I'm barely a YouTuber, all, so I think I've got 19 subs at the moment. Um, which I appreciate. But... I, I don't get many conversations on my videos, so yeah. If you, if you if you just so happen to stumble across this one, start a conversation with me. <laughs> I need someone to talk to. I'm lonely. Um, yeah. If you enjoyed the video, give me a like, drop a comment, give me a sub if you haven't already, so we can talk more. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll see you in Man Eater. I'm jumping onto that next. Yeah. So, all right. Sark signed out. Thanks.